YouTube. It's Lauren here. Uh, it's been about a few years since I've posted a video, but it's probably been about 10 years since I told myself I wanted to get into canning and dehydrating and um, just basically different ways of preserving food um, in order to one, save money, two, because I just love food. I love the science of cooking food. I love seeing how I can develop flavors. Um, but I'm also a full-time working single mother. So it's hard to, you know, like make that slow cook food um, when you're on such a tight time and financial budget. So uh, it's been a while, but I finally saved up and I caught myself one of these uh, here pressure canners. And uh, I'm going to open it with y'all right now. Uh, and I'm going to try not to cry like a punk. Uh, but, you know, today is election day, and, uh, never mind, I'll just cut in sounds. I should have prepared this. Uh, today is election day, and, um, I don't know about y'all, but I'm scared out of my mind. I'm scared out of my mind, um, for what will happen if either candidate wins, because, frankly, don't nobody like nobody. I mean, people who supported Hillary... Only thing they could ever say to me was uh, that it's not Trump and uh, people supporting Trump. I don't know, man. They scare me more than probably anybody else. So I don't know. I hope I don't lose viewers for saying that. But I'm a I'm a black woman in America, and neither candidate really cares about me. I mean, any candidate that calls my people the blacks, I don't know what to do with them. And uh, Hillary. No, I don't care how much hot sauce you got in your bag. It's no swag, okay? So, I mean, a big part of me wish I had this canner before so I could prepare in case the world ended today, which, you know, it could or it could not. I ain't ready. Um, but it makes me feel good that I'm learning how to be more self-sufficient and, um, God, man, to finally, to finally have this thing is is crazy i went with the presto um because one i am poor i think i might have stated something to the effect of that a few times already in the uh two minutes this video has been going on um i went with the presto 23 quart uh it's it's cool because it has a gauge on it so i can figure that out i'm not guessing like with some of the older models um it can fit I believe seven quarts 20 pints and 24 half pints which for me and my kid and my bow that's that's fine um, and just like you know because I'm learning and starting out I'm a beginner um, you know it's not gonna kill me I don't even have room for the American that zone is huge this is huge so if you have a small kitchen make sure you do your measurements and everything before you purchase because when you see how big this canner is in comparison to like my body as I unpack it you'll start to think about the fact do I really need to spend the extra money on the American when it might not even fit on my stove or in my kitchen um, and I live in a old an old-fashioned house everything is kind of small so so I guess what I'm unpacking right now make sure you take care of your small parts because that's what makes the whole machine function it's a pressure regulator um, open that up so you can see what that looks like I'm sure you know what that is, but if you lost this, you kind of defeat the purpose of life. Um, this is basically the weight that you put on top of it in order to keep the pressure inside of the device. This is, there's a lot of styrofoam in here, and I hate that when that styrofoam stuff gets in the carpet because it just blows everywhere when you try and vacuum it. Oh, here's our handed dandy -handed gauge. Yeah, baby. Gauge. So depending upon where you live um, and uh, basically your elevation, that'll dictate a lot about your cooking uh, time and, you know, it goes in correlation with this gauge. Look at this thing. Look at this thing compared to my body. Now I am oh, balling. I am 5'1". And I weigh 123 pounds. This thing, I can show you guys in comparison to my body so people can see. 
this thing is the size of my entire chest my entire torso okay so it weighs it has a 14 inch diameter and it needs about uh, 17 inches with the gauge and everything for clearance so you need to measure your stove top and make sure this thing will fit or else you'll be real sad okay so I've unpacked it what am I gonna do with it well I'm off today because we had a late show yesterday um and so we had the day off. I'm sure it was not intentional to give people the opportunity to vote, but it worked out that way. So right now on the stove, man, this chicken. Hold up, I just got an email on my phone. I am not at work. I am not getting paid. I shall not be answering that. We have to cut this out of the video later. Either way, don't work for free, people. Okay? So, so, so many people have gotten got. There's no benefit to working for free. I don't do it um, anymore. So on the stove right now in anticipation of this beautiful pressure canner coming, I have some apples and pineapple in a small pressure cooker um, going on the stove. I'm going to make applesauce and then I'm going to can said applesauce. I already have some pints and some quart jars that came um, in the mail yesterday I have the presto version of well like you know of the canning kit and uh, I guess we shall see how it goes my first go at it no distractions I'm the only person here so if I jack this up uh, that's completely my fault I should not jack it up I think I pretty much have like a PhD in canning based off of how many YouTube videos I've watched in the past six or seven years um, I don't know if you if you check my history in my feed you might think that I'm a middle-aged white woman or man because everything is about like I don't know canning dehydrating homesteading camping raising quail slash chicken slash goats making cheese I kind of have like the mind of an already retired person I don't know it might just be because you know I like doing things with my hands and I like to cook and I like to develop flavors and I don't like the idea of pumping a whole lot of processed foods and chemicals into my or my daughter or my loved ones body so I like to know where my food comes from and you know the more you get into food the more you realize you have no real control over that until you basically make it yourself from scratch that takes a long time when you can stuff it helps you be able to preserve and uh, really utilize your time to the best of your ability so when you make a soup you can can the rest of it you can make it in bulk and can the rest of it and then when you hit that Wednesday night and it's 8 o'clock and you're just getting home you can literally take that jar of soup out of the cabinet put it in the pan heat it up and serve and it tastes like you cooked it all day that's the plan let's hope that I can execute it um, well guys I'm going to finish fully unpacking this that's really it it's just the the canner itself your weight your gauge and I should have what the hell oh no oh no oh no I really hold, hold on instructions need to be inside the canner themselves and right you would think they really got this thing wrapped up let's see be damned okay y'all if you buy this do not buy the extra rack because I bought an extra rack thinking I needed a rack that's boo boo okay yeah the instructions and stuff are all inside I might need to return that rack I spent money on that y'all mm, it did not say it was included on the website I bought this from Amazon so take care and take note if you're trying to prep yourself for that don't buy it and also I'll do a review because I'm trying to decide I bought the presto oh it sounds a little tinny oh, I bought the presto version of the canning basics kit it looks kind of cheap now that I got it and I like the idea of presto I have a pressure cooker from presto that is literally as old as my mama so I love the products that they make but it's just you know it doesn't look as solid as the ball kit looks online so I'll unpack that in another video 
Um, but here's the instruction booklet and I think I will uh, read it. So look forward to a part two of this video. Love y'all. Ta-ta. Like, subscribe. Like, subscribe. Thank you. Bye. Oh, go out and vote. I do care about who, but I won't get into that right now. Just as long as you vote, because it's probably the only right we have as citizens that equalizes all of us. Rich, poor, white, black, Mexican, legal status, pending, whatever. Um, just use your rights, okay? And don't let it be a place for anger management. Let it be a place for, for proper planning and... Uh, where you show love and compassion for your fellow man. Alright, well, like, subscribe!